Hey everyone, Pallet Overjoyed fan. I thought I would show you Swipe today. This is a an app if you're looking for a, a keyboard to actually use as an alternative to the stock keyboard. Uh, I think you're really going to be impressed with this one. Uh, this is called Swipe for those of you that haven't seen it. I know a lot of folks out there have been using uh, uh, early betas that uh, that they got off of uh, various sites or what have you. But now the official beta release of Swipe uh, is in. And let me tell you, it is a very innovative uh, and responsive keyboard. Uh, here's what you do. Let's go into our search, like in the market, for example. And let's go in and uh, you'll see the keyboard comes up here at the bottom. And what you'll do is you'll actually just move your finger instead of a tapping motion, uh, which you can do the tap traditionally, Instead, you're going to actually move your finger in a line across the keyboard just to connect to the keys that you want to. So let's say we're going to search for something that is, uh, uh, let's say we're just going to search for games. Notice that I just drew a line and you probably saw a little trace pattern there on the screen. And I just moved my finger across without lifting it off the, the keyboard at all. And games comes up in the, uh, in the search window. Um, let's erase that and let's go back and try something a little more difficult. Let's try Encyclopedia. Encyclopedia. Instantly it guessed just from the pattern as I moved across. And, and what I've found too is I've continued to use Swipe. It's pretty forgiving. If you're pretty close to the word but not right on it, it still recognizes the pattern of the word you were trying to draw. And sometimes you'll see it'll come up and actually give you suggestions. Like let's uh, let me let me just draw a quick thing here that it might know know what I was trying to draw, and I just did something at random. You'll notice it pops up and gives you the options of what it thinks that you were most trying to do. Uh, so it does have the suggestive word entry as well. Uh, after a certain time, it times out, and it just gives you what was suggested if you haven't selected one. Uh, another nice feature uh, of the keyboard as well is let's say that you wanted to do uh, capitalization because you're actually typing a text to someone, uh, and you wanted to uh, say something like, uh, hey... Tom. You notice I capitalized by actually when I pressed the first letter I just simply moved up off of the keyboard which showed I wanted to go into caps and then back down to connect the letters that I wanted to go to. Uh, again very intuitive use and when you start to use swipe uh, you're going to notice you really don't want to do much tapping again. Uh, so very, very cool product. Uh, it's uh, it's right now, you can't get it in the market. You actually have to go to their site to download the beta. So I'll go ahead and post up the instructions on droidfan.com too uh, on the official uh, review post. That way you can see how to get it, register for the beta. And I suggest you uh, at least give it a shot because uh, it makes texting uh, in any kind of text entry uh, just a breeze. Uh, so there you go. There's your review of uh, Swipe, uh, the keyboard alternative. And that's from droidfan.com.